Very much splendid. All it needs now is a nice taper machine on there and the edge rounded off and that's that's one done. I'll take that sharp edge off there as well where the thread comes through. At least I managed to salvage salvage what I had. I'm not sure about cutting that kiwi and steel for that method but we'll give it a try. I've done it on the lathe before cutting kiwis that way. Ideally you need a 3 8 brooch and I could use the, the tape that I made as a backer for the brooch. I've got a 516s one but not a 3 8 Don't look too bad. I obviously cut the kiwi deeper than the kiwi in that one. It's actually broken into it there. I should have left a bit more metal on there, it's just me being a bit of a clumsy bastard. But basically it's gonna do the job. The next one will be better because now I know how to do it and then when I cut the Collar chuck, I should have it spot on. Now I can weld that up. No. Should have just left more material on there. I wasn't at all happy with the way this had turned out, um, so what I've done, I've veed it out. And I've TIG welded it up with some aluminium rod. I'm going to remachine it now and hopefully it'll, it'll turn out a lot better. That's the arrow of weld material here, you can see it's nice and solid. I think it's going to work out alright. So you can be machine this tape on now. That's the area where it's been welded, there's a very, very slight mark in there. I'm going to leave that. Yeah, I'm going to settle for that. See, there is one little area there, but it's, uh, for what it's got to do. Possibly could weld that up, but it's. Um, I'll just leave it. That might be asbestos you're putting in there, is it? It certainly is. Asbestos and graphite? Yep. 
Watch me pull high it's without a standing knife, but I wouldn't have a standing knife in days of steam. <coughs> Should do it. Middle for diddle. Splendid. Got my slip. Good stuff this. Right, let's check the dip there now. You need to leave a gap on the follower so you can adjust it up like this. That's right, yes, but you need to see, make sure there's not a bit more put into it, you know. It won't do, but just when the cab's on, it's just a bit awkward to do, you know. Half the, the gland exposed. Yes, that's spot on that. Marvellous. So if it just start a leak, you just nip that up and it'll stop it leaking here. Yeah. This is the cylinder head of the end cap uh, for the water pump on Richard Sentinel steam wagon. That's the one I cast a few weeks ago. Remember I made the pattern from a, an existing end cover. The difference is this one's got a hole in for the, a drain tap to let the water out in the winter. Naturally, when I cut to try and put it on, the bolt hole centers are nowhere near. This is the original one, so what I've done, I've made a gasket. It goes on there that way up, that's to the top. So I'll put this one in the vise. That to the top. And it's going to be a compromise to see which holes line up best. Basically they all want to come in slightly, that's the nearest one, so I think I'll class that as a master one and work off that. What I intend doing is just scrape around where I need to take metal off, put it in the miller machine and just put a half inch miller cutter down through and hopefully that will remove the metal nice and neatly. I'll line one hole up with that. You can see they're actually a mile away. That's a better one. Those two there aren't too far away at all. I'll put some marking blue on, hopefully if I just scrape around here, I should be able to see them. And that one there, it's not bad at all actually that one. I'll do those these two first and then go from there. Yeah, you can see where it's got the material's got to come off. Oh, 
I'm going to put two parallels on top of it and just use those to line it up with the top of the vase like that. And to line up where I need the material removing from, I'm going to use a pretty old fashioned method, the eyeball method. Line it up with the hole first, then offset it accordingly. That looks pretty good. Battle looks very good. Still be having a desired effect. This aluminium bronze is finished with the machine. That looks good. We'll go for the one opposite now. Good. Right, I think that'll go on now because I do slack on the studs, they're 716 studs and a half inch holes. I think that should now do the job quite nicely. Hey, right, that's nice. All the grooves are for is to help bite into the gasket. See that one had grooves on so I put grooves in this one. So hopefully next week I'll be able to get a little bit of film of that being installed. Once again it just remains to say thanks very much for watching, subscribing, clicking the like button and most of all for all the comments and well wishes that are coming in towards my wife Deb and me dad. Thanks very much. All enjoy ya. Enjoy yourself back at work next week because I've certainly enjoyed myself back at work. Thanks for watching. And as always, for all the well wishes that are coming in towards Deb and me, and me wife. Deb is me wife, you bell end. <laughs>